Hey guys, this reading is for you beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome and welcome in. Those that are those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. We're reading for the second week of November. Don't date my videos because time and energy is fluid. Please feel free to surf around the four videos that I do have as they may resonate with you. And with that said, please do take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, we're going to pull one more card and we're going to get your reading going. There we go. Let's see what's going on here. Ace of Pentacles. Guys, you have big new beginnings, big time. And I've been channeling this for a little while. It felt like for a little while you were on this like seesaw with the past and your future. And it was like, do, and it was like, I don't know how to get off this thing. Look, how do I get off this thing? Like, is the past going to work out? Is it going to work with me or is it not going to work with me? I need to get the fuck off the seesaw because I want to move on with my life. And here you are. You got, you finally got off the seesaw and you're basically having all these new things happening to you guys. The bottom of the deck and the main theme is Ace of Pentacles. I don't know if you could see that clearly, but the Ace of Pentacles talks about new opportunities, whether that's a job, a career, or even a relationship. It's solid. It's tangible. It's here in your 3D world. Uh, the chariot quickly kind of came out of nowhere. Maybe some of you are dealing with cancer. Yeah. In the recent past, you had some profound heartache, some profound pain. And when you had that, you it's like you ran away, but you remain focused. You remain focused on yourself, your future, and you were going towards new opportunities is what it looks like. Yeah, in the recent past, some of you were dealing with a marriage, maybe not. Maybe you guys were wanting to manifest a marriage here with somebody, and then you were just disillusioned. You were heartbroken. And then when you were heartbroken, you just ran off. Here you are, right? The magician trying to manifest money on your home or a marriage. Something didn't pan out and it broke your heart. It was profound pain. It's like you ran away or you walked away, but you remained focused. You're like, fuck this. I need to move on with my life and I have to do what works for me. And you're like, I need to seek new opportunities and new beginnings in my life. And this is exactly where you are now. Now, let's cover over here your situation. In your situation, you have an ace of cups. Somebody here, I'm sorry for this glare, Somebody here is offering you an emotional new beginning. These are I love you's. This is somebody professing their feelings for you. It's serious. It's tangible. And the person that's coming towards you could very well be like yourself. I think I just did this in the BRC, the broad reading for the collective, which is like a 15 minute clip. Please check it out. I'm going to add it to the end of this video. But, um, What's coming towards you is a king of wands. Why I just said all that is because I think I read the same thing in that one minute clip for you guys in that collective reading. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Six of Cups. The, I would say this is um, you, but I don't feel like it. I feel like there's somebody here that you feel a deep connection with, like a soulmate. Usually the Six of Cups for me, which is this card right here tells me it denotes it's somebody from the past yeah it could be somebody you know they could be a childhood friend someone you've always known and you were just always friends and now you're starting to become more than that most of the time when i see a court card next to a six of cups i feel like this is somebody you feel is a soulmate and i say soulmate because they're like you they have your energy your fire placements your sister signs like an aries or a leo they they just get you and you know, and you get them. So this is what's coming towards you. This is something really, really beautiful. Um, I'm pretty sure this is your divine counterpart. I'm pretty positive because what you don't see coming is the queen of wands, which is what I suspect is you here. Um, yeah. Seven of cups. You, you're looking at your options. You're like, hmm, is this worth my time? Do I feel like getting into this? Do I, I maybe I want to be single for a minute. I don't know. But check this out. The king and queen of wands, the king and queen of fire this is your divine counterpart. And you're sitting here reviewing it as an option. This person is just an option to you. I'm going to clarify. I'm going to see what this is. Um, and it could be vice versa, guys. So, you know, flip the energies. Um, your advice, three of cups in reverse. It's talking about, okay, <laughs> don't yell at me. It's saying you need to get serious. 
it needs, it's saying like if you, there might've been a reconciliation for some of you that you turned away and you're moving towards or forward with this new person that could be a fire sign. Others of you, this is saying needing to get serious, needing to like buckle down. If this is work related for you guys, it's saying now's the time to apply your work, your, your skill, your skill set, and it's time to get serious. Some of you, it's like, okay, the dating is over. It's done. It's time for seriousness, especially in your advice position. We're going to clarify and we're going to see what that's all about, Sagis. Um, in your outcome. Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Two, two storylines, and when I clarify, I'll know more, because the more cards I drop, the more the story unfolds for me. It looks like over here you guys feel stuck, and you don't have a solution for something that you've invested time and energy in. It could be a project, it could be money, it could be your career, could even be a relationship. For some reason, you feel stuck, like you can't move past it. Some of you can't move past your past. Um, it's something like that. You're feeling stuck by it, whatever this is. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to clarify and we're going to see what is going on for you guys. Universe Angel Spirit Guides. You definitely have new beginnings, at least the opportunity to. So you at the bottom of the deck have the Ace of Pentacles and in your situation, Ace of Cups. There's a potential new relationship here for sure. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Please clarify this for my Sagittarius the second week of November, please. Somebody you've been holding on to or they've been holding on to you. They never could let you go. And now they're communicating with you that they want that they feel like you are their soulmate and they want to be with you. Interesting. Four of Pentacles. Two of Cups. This is soulmate. You both feel the same way about each other. Uh, Knight of Wands, there you are. Sagittarius card. And the Eight of Wands, communication. So we are clarifying your situation the second week of November, what this Ace of Cups is. There's definitely somebody here who hasn't let you go, has always clung on to you, like really clinging on to you. Um, and this is you. This is them clinging on to you. So this isn't really you holding on to them. It is them holding on to you. And now they're communicating this to you. They're com they're finally communicating possibly their feelings. And maybe they just weren't doing it before. So some of you, this could be somebody new-ish. Somebody you were dating and you were on and off with. Um, others of you, I'm not sure if this was um, someone you were married to or you wanted to marry. Let's see. At the bottom of the deck, I have King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody very cerebral, logical, somebody who doesn't really show you emotions. Um, and under that is Knight of Cups. So maybe they finally came forward because Six of Pentacles is under that, telling me that before it felt like you were getting breadcrumbs. You weren't getting what you needed out of this relationship. So maybe that's why I was feeling this like whole seesaw, like this teetering, you know, like you wanting to move on. Um, interesting. What is this King of Wands and the Six of Cups? Okay. So some of you, there is a fire sign coming towards you. I mean, I don't know what else to say. The King of Cup, the, the King of Wands is clarified by the King of Wands that fell on the floor. Let me just get it. doubling down there's this could be a childhood friend this is somebody you know they're from your past it's possible if not this is somebody you definitely feel a soul connection with the world you are going to start a new chapter with this person if they're not a fire sign you're gonna feel the passion you're gonna feel the connection you're gonna feel something here um and maybe in the past they weren't telling you how they felt about you and now they're finally coming forward Let's see. Let's keep going. Yeah, King of Coins at the bottom of the deck. Um, stability. Stability. This person wants stability with you. Why is the Queen of Wands here with the Seven of Cups, please? Oh, okay. I was just channeling right before this card dropped out. What is it that I feel with this Queen of Wands here? What is it? Because she's reviewing her options. 
and this could be you, he or she, it doesn't matter who's looking at this, this is your energy. The thing is with the Queen of Wands, different from the King of Wands, she doesn't have salamanders draped all over her. She doesn't have all this like protection around her. She just goes and does, and she's brave. She makes smart and witty moves, but she takes the initiative. Like she goes in fear of the unknown, she takes a plunge and she goes. And before I was feeling, before I pulled this card out for you, I was feeling the fool, you know, like um, the Aries card where just jumping and taking a leap of faith. That's what I was vibing from this. So I'm feeling like you are taking a leap of faith, deciding on what is right for you as far as your options are concerned. What came out as the Seven of Swords, which is the card of sneakiness, stealing, lying, cheating, ghosting, sneaking away in the middle of the night. But sometimes it could talk about um, trying to decide and being stealth, clever, smart, making the right choice, picking the right cup. And that's the vibe I was getting before with the, with the fool over there is like, it's like you want Sagittarius to make the right choice right now. So you're a little bit in your head and you're like, okay, what is the right move here? Because I feel like I have options and I've got to be clever to make either A, everybody happy while I decide what's right for me and makes me happy. Or B, you're just like how to get yourself out of a situation here. Uh, it's just the vibe I'm getting. But just be careful that you're doing something fair and balanced because you do have options and you don't want to be doing something sneaky and shady because you're going to end up losing in the end. So I don't know if you're trying to, some of you, and if this isn't you, this could be the other person that's that's dealing with you that could be doing some shady, sneaky things like seeing you and then, you know, seeing somebody else in case things don't work out with you or vice versa. But this person really wants to be with you. Just somebody is just thinking a little too much in their head about how they're going to go towards this process or this situation. Yeah, Knight of Cups. This is definitely about how to deliver a message, an emotional one. So somebody here is trying to cleverly think up of a way on how to either message you or you do this to them. And it's based off an emotion, Knight of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here in reverse? Maybe this is a reconciliation and you shouldn't go towards it. For some of you, others of you, this is talking about getting serious regarding something. Others of you, it says, you know, you could stop dating now. The person's arrived, quite frankly. So why is the three of cups here in reverse? Page, yeah, page of swords in reverse. Wow, the five of pentacles in reverse. Okay. And the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Totally. Yeah. So there's somebody here who totally is into you, loves you, has feelings for you, deep feelings for you. It could be vice versa. It could be you for them. But mostly I feel like it's for you. Somebody really loves you here. Right? And then the Five of Pentacles in reverse came out with the Page of Swords in reverse. This is coming in from out of the cold. And this person has stopped stalking. So in your advice position, it's telling me you need to stop stalking, get yourself out of the cold and get yourself out there and get serious. There's no more games to be had here because sometimes the seven of swords talks about playing fucking games. Now, I'm not saying this is you. It could be your person because there is somebody here who seriously wants to be with you, which is why I'm understanding in your outcome, you're feeling stuck by this investment. And this is really talking about somebody in truly loving you. And having a great level of success with this person. Page of Cups. Yeah, I think it lovers under that. And somebody, the lover comes forward, makes this emotional gesture. You find a level of success when this happens. And you're like, here you are. Loving, toasting, toasting to, to you with them. But there's something a little off here. There's something a little shady. Like somebody's just trying to, I don't know, play two sides of a coin here. I'm not sure. So let me see. What is this outcome? I'll get there. What's this Eight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, please? Yes. Um, Wheel of Fortune, Five of Cups. Trying to start a new chapter by letting go of the past. Somebody here needs to really let go of their past. If this isn't you, it could be the person that you're dealing with, for sure. 100%. Okay. Stuck 
invested relationship or project work, whatever. Ten of Swords, something has ended. Five of Cups, commiserating over the past. Guilt, sorrow, missing someone, something, right? Wheel of Fortune, big changes in your life. There are huge changes coming in your life. And these big changes that are happening to you right now, and it is definitely something to do with a lover, because a lover is here. This lover has offered you a cup of emotion. For a lot of you, this is somebody that's new, and it's not your past person that you've been holding on to, and you kind of feel stuck by it. You don't know what to do. Others of you, this is somebody from your past that you thought would never come towards you, never show you their feelings, all of a sudden does. Whatever happens to you in the second week of November, it brings forth a massive change. And with this change, it's so overwhelming. You don't know what to do. You feel stuck by it. You're like, do I invest in this or, or don't I? I don't know if I should. So this is what you're doing, actually. You're questioning a relationship if you should invest in it. That's why you feel stuck. That's what I'm understanding here. By something that had ended that you really just dealt with. It was over. It was done. You cried. You did. You whatever. And now all of a sudden you were ready for the next chapter in your life. And it's a possibility the person came back after you waited for so long. Others of you are coming to the realization that person from your past is not coming at all. That's why you have this three of uh, cups in reverse here. And that's why it's saying it's st stop stalking, stop staring, get yourself out of the cold and start moving towards newness. Because there's a brand new chapter here waiting for you. And if this is somebody from your recent past... It's it's like you're torn. It's definitely about a lover. And you're definitely stuck by this decision. Let's see what the uh, what the uh angels have to say for you guys. What do you have for my Sagittarius, please? Yeah, I told, as I was telling you earlier, something to do with a wedding or you thought you were going to marry this person, but you didn't and it didn't work out or you were waiting for somebody to come out of a marriage. There's somebody new here and a lot of you need to detach from your past person um, because there's passion here. You deserve love. Yeah, because a lot of you put a lot of time and energy in this person in the recent past. And maybe it didn't warrant rewards or didn't, you know, produce any rewards for you. It's saying it's time to move on that energy. You know, you deserve love. Look at her, Artemis, with her bow over there and her red curly hair. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, you deserve love. So you weren't getting treated the way you needed to be treated. This new person or whoever here is finally coming towards you is finally showing you passion, you know, and so, some of you were dealing with a past life relationship here. It can be a karmic, which is only meant to teach you life lessons and you move on. They could be a twin flame. So you have a, a, a difficult journey or this is somebody that you didn't finish a chapter with that is here now and it's up to you guys where it ends does it end in a marriage or do you just move on so it's like kind of you going into a new phase that's why i kept feeling this like seesaw in the beginning of your reading very interesting it's also very complicated so i feel like i'm reading for a couple different sagittarius's out there you guys all have different exes lovers situations you're not all going through the same cycle so we try to get as general as we can so we can get that common thread message out for you guys. What 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 advice do you have for them, universe and spirit guys? Sagittarius of the Oh, come on. Anything else? Step out of your comfort zone, yeah. Step out of your comfort zone. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. A time for healing. Yeah, some of you, it's, a, it's got a lot to do with a little bit of your past. Regardless if your past person comes towards you again, you need to heal something within your dynamic or something that was done to you. We're just completely letting go of your past. So a time for healing is here. Show the real world you. That's also, it can lend itself to 
you deserve love because a lot of you when we get insecure or intimidated by somebody that we're seeing or dating we don't really reveal our true selves we don't put our cards on the table we wait we're like okay we'll do a slow leak let, let them peel back the layers which is great but sometimes some people just keep up the layers and they don't reveal their real selves and then you end up getting into trouble later on down the road because the person doesn't really know you so that's why it's saying show the world the real you that way you can find your perfect match right off the bat and i think there's somebody here and i think you just kind of don't seem right now step out of your comfort zone for sure the bottom of the deck i have a fire climax approaches full moon in aries we just had a full moon in aries okay so that's what I have for you guys. Please leave me your comments and I will see you on the next one.